Second, and, first Kings 2.13, I'm sorry. And Adoniah, the son of Hag Haggith, came to Bathsheba, the mother of Solomon. And she said, comest thou peaceably? And he said, peaceably. He said, moreover, I have somewhat to say unto thee. And she said, say on. And he said, thou knowest that the kingdom was mine, and that all Israel set their faces on me, that I should reign. Howbeit the kingdom is turned about and is become my brother's, for okay. it was his from the Lord. Okay, so before he even asks what he's trying to ask, he want to plead his case. Now look, I was supposed to be king. You know his motive's not right. You know that dramatic stuff wasn't sincere. Because he still, look, it should have been me. It should have been me. It was mine. And sometimes we feel that way. God, why did you bless her? It should have been me. Instead of rejoicing with them that rejoice, it's all about you. God, it was, it was my turn. I've been faithful. I've been doing this. I teach Bible study. I do this. I'm an usher. I'm on five different auxiliaries in the church. It should have been my turn. She shouldn't be up preaching. It's my turn to preach. You can have it. But that's how we get. God, it's my turn. Go ahead, David. And now I ask one petition of thee, deny me not. And she said unto him, say on. And he said, speak, I pray thee unto Solomon the king, for he will not say thy na thee nay, that he give me Abishag the Shunammite to wife. So he asking for the girl who done took care of David. He wants some prestige. That's what he's looking for. Since I can't be king, well, give me that one girl who took care of daddy. Maybe people see me as something if I get her. I'm just, I'm just trying to guess. Maybe, maybe that's not right. But you know what I'm saying? He's looking for something. Well, let me have that girl that was taking care of daddy. All right? So then she, Bathsheba, I don't know why, she goes to Solomon. She's like, all right, I, I ask him. So she goes to Solomon. He's like, she's like, Solomon, would you grant me this, whatever? He's like, go ahead, mama, what you got to say? So she asks him. She asks him for him. She, she asks him. Uh, he, want, he want old girl as his wife. Uh, so Solomon is furious. He's like, this dude is wicked. I gave him another chance. Now he's trying to come up in here. You messed, you messed up. It was like, oh, he just asking for the girl. But Solomon is something deeper than that. And that's like Bishop. Bishop, no. <laughs> something deeper. We, we don't see it all the time. But he, he got them spiritual eyes. He can see something. Yeah. Something a little deeper than that. You ain't, something ain't right right there. So he gets upset. Solomon is mad. Read then King Solomon swear by the Lord, saying, God do so to me, and more also. If Adonai have not spoken this word against his own life, now therefore, as the Lord liveth, which hath established me, and set me on the throne of David my father, and who hath made me a house as he promised, Adonai shall be put to death this day. Dang. Adonai put to death. Now, Solomon swear to God. So you know he had to do it. He had to do it. You, done, you just vowed that to God. Look, I, he, he out of here. So Adonai is gone. And that's like our motives. Our motives can jack us up to the point where we spiritually die. And we're just doing stuff. And we're, our hearts are not towards God at all. At all. Somebody look at your name and say, check your motives. Check him out. So that's an example of somebody's motive just being wrong. And it looks right. It looks, you know, like that. It looks like you deserve it. Because sometimes we look at people like, oh, she deserved, yeah, she deserved that. But that's not what God said. You know, and even with Bishop, he got to follow what God say. I don't care how it looks like you deserve something or looks like you should be doing something. He got to do what God say. So anyway, 
it, there are even situations where our heart can start off pure. We can start off loving God, especially when we first get saved. We all zealous. We, you know, we just love him. We want to save the world for Jesus. Hey, you know Jesus? Just walking up to random people on the street. You know Jesus? You know, and our hearts is in the right place. But there are even moments where our hearts get off track. And we get off track. I mean, we started that way, which is why we have to check our motives. We got to do a self-check because, you know, it started off that way. We start off loving God, wanting God, seeking God, but we got tainted along the way. And it may not always be your fault. I mean, you you in a church with people, some people already tainted. You hear them say stuff. You Now you tainted because you don't let it get in you. So we always got to do a self-check. I, I got to check my heart make sure it's right because I just heard that. I don't, yeah, I need to check myself. So somebody look at your neighbor and say, check your motives. 